about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Reporting to Solar Star Base, approaching target area. ejector on target. Five miles. Firing now. Contact. to Solister Base, test firing is a complete success. Devastation Force 10 plus. Returning to Solister to report. to Solar Star Base. Approaching the inner sea of Solar Star, present depth two miles below bottom of Pacific Ocean. Eritimus to Solar Star Base. Now below the Earth in the Solar Star Sea, approaching Solar Star. to Solar Star Base, request permission to enter city. Maritimus to Solar Star Control. Disembarking. I will report to our mighty leader in five marine minutes. Attention all Solar Star. I, your mighty leader, summon Korda, my advisor. Korda, report to your mighty leader at once. Mighty leader, I am here to advise you. May I see your face? I have decided that now we know our powerful missile ejector is successful, we are ready to launch our attacks on the Terranians. Yes. Long have we awaited the day when we take over the surface lands. With our new weapon of destruction, 
the Terranians will not withstand our might. One missile from our cannon will set up a chain reaction and destroy an entire landmass, even an entire continent, if necessary. I am now ready to receive Maritimus. Of course. Maritimus, the mighty leader awaits you. Maritimus comes now, mighty leader. The Medal of Honor, Corda. Maritimus has earned a decoration for his work this day. Mighty leader, may I stand before you? Come, Maritimus. Let me see the face of a truly brave man. <laughs> For your bravery and devotion to duty, you will have the honor to lead the attack on the surface land. You will begin the invasion by destroying the west coast of the area known as the United States of America. I'll call you with more details soon. Right. Thank you, sir. That's the third island to be obliterated in a week. All in the same area. We've got trouble. We've got trouble, all right. The wasps will have to investigate. Stingray's in the area. Would you have Troy Tempest check it out? Yeah. To do that, Atlanta, contact him right away. Marineville control to Stingray. Marineville control to Stingray. Come in, Stingray. Stingray to Marineville. Go ahead, Atlanta. Proceed to position south, southwest, 1500, reference 5, Troy, and investigate mysterious destruction of the deserted island of San May. Okay, Marineville. Changing course. We'll report later. Sounds like another craft in the area. About 10,000 feet down. Okay, Phones. Get a bearing on it. We'd better check it out before proceeding with Marineville's instructions. It's moving real fast, Troy. But I don't figure it. It's constructed of a material I can't identify. Right. Let's go down and take a look. Okay, Phones. Dive. Dive, dive, dive. Main ballast, 1,000. 1,000. Four hundred feet. Unidentified craft increasing in speed. Okay, let's get after it. Increase rate of dive. Main ballast three thousand. Main ballast three thousand. Two thousand feet. Increase speed to rate three. Rate three. Say the other craft is rising. Yeah, I can see it at red zero zero two. <laughs> Keep it a safe distance, Phones. We'll observe it for a while. I want to know some more about it. Right. It doesn't seem to have spotted us. We seem to be heading for the west coast of America. I don't like it, Phones. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> Well, it's surfacing, Troy. Okay, phones. Blow one. Blow one. Maritimus to Solister Base. Preparing missile ejector for attack on west coast of America. <laughs> Maritimus to Solister. On target, 20 marine seconds to firing. Setting missile to full power. It stopped. Do you think we've been spotted? No. Look, there's a gun mounted on it. It's taking aim. Phone's number one sting. Number one. Ten, nine, eight, 
Fire number one sting. Fire one. Three, two, one. Good shooting, Captain. Meridimus to Solstar. I'm under attack, abandoning craft in escape unit. Reduce speed to rate one. We'll pick up survivors. No sign of survivors, Troy. Mm, I'm not surprised. Let's collect some samples of the wreckage for analysis. We've got to find out what this is all about. Come in, Solister. Maritimus to Solister. Come in, Solister. Come in. Nothing. Just dead. I must return immediately to base and warn them of the Turanian craft. But this is fantastic. Are you certain this is so? The Aquascanners are never wrong, mighty leader. Meridimus has been attacked by a powerful Terranian craft. In that case, we must locate the Terranian vessel's base. How much longer are those scientists going to be with their report? Uh, hold on, Troy. You only brought the wreckage in two hours ago. I know, sir, but all the time we wait, the whole world could be in danger. We can't move, Troy, until we know where that craft originated from. I'm hoping the lab boys can tell us. Have the location scanners picked up the Terranian base, Corda? A submerged ocean door has been traced on the west coast of the United States of America. From soundings taken, the base is 10 miles inland, and our surface intelligence tells us its name is Marineville. Then Maritimus will make all speed to the area in missile ejector number two. This Marineville must be wiped out. That settles it. Marineville scientists say there's no doubt the materials used to build the alien craft came from the undersea area around position south-southwest 2100 reference 9. That's the West Pacific. Let's check the ocean map. Reference 9? Why, that's one of the deepest parts of the sea in the entire world. Don't worry. We'll make it in Stingray. Guess you'd better start proving that, Tempest. Atlanta, call action stations. Set for full power. Contact for launch in 20 seconds. Calling unidentified craft located in our area. Emergency. Battle stations one, two, and three. Two, one, zero. Fire. Interceptors. We 
made it, Atlanta. But only just. Call Stingray. Tell him we're under attack. Yes, sir. Tower to Stingray. Tower to Stingray. Come in, Captain Tempest. There's no reply. Marineville's radio's dead. It must be due to the explosion. I can't contact the tower, Troy. Mm, must be a radio fault. Get the radio division to send up an emergency antenna. We must renew contact with Stingray. Yes, sir, but it'll take some time. Just relay the message, Lieutenant. I'll fix the schedules. Yes, sir. Marineville tracking station calling. Now established missile attack originated from unidentified vessel 20 miles from coast. Well, let's hope Stingray can tackle it. I'm picking up a sound in Troy, and it's identical to the vessel we blew up the other day. That's our baby. Let's go. Closing in fast. Okay, reduce speed. Let's shadow him. That way, he'll lead us to his base. Rhythmus to Solastar. Returning to base. Being shadowed by Turanian vessel Stingray will lure enemy to our domain and then destroy it. If it survives the pressure of our deep waters. We're near in the deepest part of the ocean, Troy. That means the craft must be near its base by now. Keep going with the sound scanners. Now what? We can't lose it now. We're going in after it. It's fantastic. We're increasing our depth all the time, Troy. Yeah, pressure above us is pretty terrific. This is the toughest test Stingray's ever stood up to. If the pressure builds up any more, it may not stand up to it. Watch the pressure gauges, phones. There goes the depth gauge. How much deeper does this tunnel go? Well, the sounding show was still descending, Troy. How about the hull? Will, will it stand the pressure or will it collapse? I'll let you know. That's the hull, and it doesn't sound very reassuring. The port observation panel, it, it's cracked. We've got to turn back. Stingray won't take much more of this. Reduce speed, Bones. We're going through with this. With any luck, she'll hold for a while. Look, ahead. The end of the tunnel. Yeah, but we're still going down. And the, the sounding equipment is failing. We're going to be navigating blind before long. Gee, Troy, I, I, I can't stand this pressure. No sign of our friend. We've lost him. Phones. This is a subterranean sea, an ocean below the Pacific. That accounts for the great depth and pressure. A yellow sea. And there's approach lights on the seabed. The pressure's pretty bad now. I can hardly move my arms. Yeah. It's increasing every minute. If we don't find them soon, Phones, we'll have to turn back. Stingray won't take much more of this before she folds up. We must be pretty near. Yeah, I can see lights ahead. Phones, look at that underwater city. Must be their base. Oh, 
phones. There's that missile firing craft, and it's got us right in its sights. We've got to destroy it before it gets us. I'll need your help. The Turanian's craft has withstood the pressure, but from the attitude of the vessel, their crew haven't. I must operate the Sting missile. Phones. Phones. Come on, boy. We're in trouble. Now for the kill. Launching missile in ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Come on, phones. Three. Zero. Zero. Nine. Sting one. <laughs> Zero. Oh, I must have passed out. Say, the cannons exploded. If you can help me, Marina. We can destroy the city. All missiles. Red, zero, zero, four. Get out of here before Stingray collapses like a paper bag. Well, we've learned one thing out of all this tempest. Our scientists, designers, and indeed we ourselves are not infallible. Marineville's early warning system needs improving. Stingray must be prepared to go even deeper than the deepest ocean. We're dealing with enemies the like of which man has never before encountered. We've all got to start work right away to equip ourselves for any event. Right? Dismissed. Okay, Atlanta. Let's get started. There's no time to lose. You know, Troy, I feel pretty bad about passing out like at just at the vital moment. Well, I've got news for you, Phones. I passed out, too. Marina fired the missile that destroyed the cannon. No kidding. Yep. I guess she could stand the pressure being an underwater creature. Guess so, Phones. You know, I think she's the greatest girl in the world. Close to my heart. 